Hi everyone, my name is Lisette Guerrero. I am going to be presenting to you uh, my PowerPoint on why I believe that uh, eye contact is very important. Um, so first of all, my title page is, Do I Have Your Attention? Um, so we need to make sure that when we begin um, our speech, uh, that first of all, we are acknowledging that we are here for our audience and that the audience is very important. So we need to make sure that we give them that feeling of importance by looking directly at them and making them feel like I am here for you. It's not that you're here for me. So on my PowerPoint here, I said, uh, why is it that it's important to um, do public communication, you know, do speeches or, you know, um, present to people. Um, I feel that public communication is important because uh, we can utilize it to give information to our audience um, or also uh, we can use it to uh, persuade our audience to believe what it is that we're trying to um, give to them as information and you know they're able to um, use that information to make a decision preferably the decision that we are aiming for. Some examples of um, uh, non-verbal communication would be like eye contact, um, hand gestures, uh, we can use facial gestures, and then um, unfortunately, <laughs> or maybe fortunately, they also look at what it is that we're wearing, if we look prepared, um, if we took the time to get ready to come and be here with our audience and say, uh, again, you are important. That's why I took the time to get ready to make sure that I look uh, presentable for um, giving you this information. So I took a quote from um, one of my sources. Um, this is by uh, Wagner. This was in 2013. That um, uh, First of all, the importance of eye contact. Um, so immediacy is something that we want to build with our audience. And according to Wagner, uh, immediacy is a feeling of closeness that can be created through nonverbal behavior. So it's uh, something like establishing a connection with your audience and you know making them feel like there's some type of a relationship there. And then also we want to make sure that we look like we're prepared which goes back to um, our appearance and along with how we're dressed. Um, eye contact also says I'm ready and I uh, even though you may be nervous, um, eye contact does make you look more prepared, like you maybe practiced before you did this. So if you are lacking eye contact, um, you give that feeling that you are not prepared. Um, along with that feeling that you're not prepared, it also makes it seem like, mm, like you're not credible, like, you know, the audience is not sure whether they should believe it like if you're just like you know wandering your eyes around um it also uh, makes you look nervous i am actually a bit nervous right now so um just because this is not i don't do this all the time and then um so then you also lack that relationship with the audience because we did say that immediacy is that relationship. So if you're lacking that nonverbal communication, you're gonna lack at least some um, of that uh, relationship with the audience that you're looking for. Um, so when you are the speaker and you are providing this nonverbal communication, such as eye contact, you as the speaker are gaining that confidence, you're showing confidence, but you also feel confident knowing in your mind, I'm doing a good job of doing eye contact. So that means that I am 
um, aiming towards success with this speech. Um, also, uh, you, um, again, you, you aim for success. So you, if you visualize it in your mind and then you practice that eye contact, you're able to, um, you know, ensure that success to say that you delivered this speech adequately. And then the, um, the audience's point of view is um, you are, well, are, you're prepared, you look prepared, you're presenting the information that they need to know, and then you are credible. So that means that they're able to believe what it is that is coming out of your mouth because of your nonverbal communication, not only because of what you're saying. Um, also, I put here another quote from one of my um, one of my sites that I went to. So undivided attention. So you want to make sure that the audience is also not wandering. You want that eye contact back. So if you see your audience, you know, looking around and they're looking at their watch, saying like, "Whoa, when is this gonna finish?" It's, most likely you didn't get their attention. Most likely they're just there, you know, because they have to be. Um, but so it says here, an audience must feel interested in the speaker and know the speaker cares about them. And this was by Capiz in 2011, which is one of my sources. Um, so with that nonverbal communication, with that feeling that you are prepared to present what it is that you're gonna present, the audience feels like there is a relationship that is established. So when you're usually in a relationship, you uh, take that time to, uh, to listen. Thank you guys.